In this Blender video editing tutorial I will show you how to crop, resize and reposition video clips. I assume you have a basic understanding of editing in Blender. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I've got a couple of tracks I've uh, or clips I've brought into the tracks in uh, Blender. Now with Blender it's an amazing video editor but there are some strange things you have to do to get it to work. It's not quite so easy to use as some editors. So I'm just going to select these two tracks, this is the audio and video, and then grab them out of the way so you can see the track below. Now cropping, if you're going to keep the same aspect ratio, really all you're just doing is zooming into the um, clip, so, i.e. you're just uh, well, literally say, making this car here slightly larger in view. So to do a basic crop, if you select the blue strip and then come up to add or hit shift A, what you're looking for is next to effect strip there's something called transform. So you'll find the settings in the effect strip uh, tab here with strip um, selected. So the first thing you would need to do probably is to put a tick in the uniform scale box and now if you drag this scale size up or oh, sorry down you can either make this smaller or you can drag it up and make it bigger so that's a basic scale but one thing you will need to change is I would place the change the composite in here from blend replace to alpha under and I'll do the same for the video track although that isn't quite as important so that's alpha under. So both this track and the transform strip relating to this track are set at alpha under. Okay, I'm going to just grab this over so it snaps back to frame one. So to actually crop a clip, so if I wanted to say take out these sides here. First of all you need to select the track that you're going to crop. And you've got a couple of um, transform sections if you need to just open up transform if it's not already open. Place a tick in the offset box and then left click on the little arrow. Place a tick in the crop box and again left click on the little arrow. So I'm going to crop this side. To do that you just drag the left side over in the left strip. It will move this video to the left but you are cropping it. And I'll do exactly the same for the right hand side. I won't do the top but again top and bottom depends on the video that you got. And then in the offset you can change the position by dragging it on X or Y. Now this is something needs to be done with your resolution set to match your videos. If you're mixed matching, matching rubbish you've downloaded it from the internet this won't work. You'll end up with all sorts of trouble. So this tutorial is aimed at people who know exactly what they've filmed anyway. So that's fine. Now if you want to reduce this in size you're going to have to place another um, strip, uh, um, transform strip in. So what you'll need to do here is change the alpha setting from instead of cross you need to change it to overlay and it will disappear but making sure that this track is selected only Go back to add and then effect strip transform 
and sometimes what happens is it will say cannot apply effect to audio sequence strip I don't know why I find that if I select an edit strip and then reselect this strip and then go back into effect strip and transform it will work so to rescale this video and say place it in a different position again place a tick in the uniform scale box and then you can I don't know we'll reduce this down to so we say about 50 percent roughly 50.52 so that's fine and then using X I can reposition this over to the right say and then on Y I could place it down to the top or the bottom that's worked okay that's fine now to make this visible above this track you'll need to select the video clip and that set is overload sorry the strip the adjustment strip that needs to be changed from replace to alpha over so basically your first track is alpha under the transform strip is also alpha under the second strip is overlay and then the transform strip for the second video is set at alpha over and that's basically all there is to it um, it's a little bit more involved than using some video editors but just goes to show what you can do in Blender won't go into rendering um, as I said at the beginning I assume you've got some knowledge of editing in Blender so hopefully this helps somebody thank you for watching cheers <laughs>